Kathy, I know you don't want to make excuses, but how bothered were you by the concussion symptoms this series? Uh, I mean, in terms of the symptoms, I mean, they were pretty much gone, but uh, not being able to do anything for almost a month and then hopping right in the playoffs, you know, it, really, it affected me in terms of having a game shape. Um, I mean, that's everything. You know, the game and practice are two totally, totally different kind of paces, and I definitely lost that uh, in the month that I was out for the concussion. Elena, after last year's run, um, has in Indiana during the regular season, maybe the one in game one, how just jarring is this right now to, to take in for you guys? Um, yeah, it's shocking. Uh, we definitely didn't expect to be here and uh, talking about exit physicals and exit meetings, so uh, we're pretty shocked. Uh, obviously, that the last game, Indiana got a lot of momentum and they just kept, carried it through into this game and I expect them to carry it through the rest of the playoffs. Um, they're a great team. Catch obviously makes them believe things that, uh, you know, they probably never thought they could do and that's what makes her so special aside from her talent. Is there something that they adjusted to after the regular season, after game one, that uh, you weren't expecting these last couple games? Um, you know, they're just playing playoff basketball and they're all clicking right now. And I think they're peaking at the perfect time. And uh, I mean, when you look at all their players, they've got great pieces of that puzzle. And I think they're just waiting to come alive. And unfortunately, uh, we were able to give them the confidence in the last game and they just carried it through. So when you look at this season, you look at all the positives of you know, the score and the title of the MVP, you get Cappy, part of the team, uh, Sloot wins, I mean, uh, she leads and assists. Um, how do you reconcile that with you know, how this ended? And, and what do you tell, you know, this is growth, what do you tell your teammates um, to build on this for the future? I mean, this uh, by far has been my favorite team to play on. It's just been such a special group of players, and that's what will stand out, you know, the most. Um, Obviously, this stings right now, but we've had such an incredible group, and we've grown so much throughout the season, and we can't forget about that when it comes to the next season. And obviously, our defense is something that would be up and down and inconsistent throughout the whole season. And tonight, that showed you can't allow a team to score 100 points. So that's going to be the focus right from the start next season. I mean, people tend to forget that uh, you know, even though this team last year went to the finals, you know, it's a totally different team. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a building process when you're trying to win a championship. You know, we've we've had a great um, year with a lot of um, spectacular players um, with, with accolades and you know the MVP of, of uh, the WNBA. But you know, it's a process. You know, it's a, it's a chemistry that that we're building, and you know, it sucks right now. But you know, as we continue to build. Looking forward to next year. It'll get better. Kevin, this being your first season, basically back back home in Chicago, how would you how would you look back and say that you played over the season, notwithstanding the injury, and what do you want to do coming into next year? Uh, I think our, our main objective is always to win. You know, no matter what, that's just the competitive nature as a basketball player, especially at an elite level. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know it, it didn't go the way we wanted to go. You know, all our goals that we had listed from the beginning of the year to now, you know, it didn't happen, but that doesn't mean that we should stop. Um, you know, we have a whole year to individually get better, um, remember what our goal is uh, moving forward, and uh, you, know, you know, the sky's the limit. Lady, you said that this is by far the new most fun team that you've ever played at. Um, can you elaborate on that? Like, are you talking just on the court stuff, off the court, personalities? What do you mean? It's just, uh, the chemistry and it's something you really can't put words to but you know I've been on teams before where we've done team building exercises, trust balls and all that stuff. Um, this team we didn't have to fake it or do a single thing to build what we have with one another and that's what's so special. Everybody is so unique and different but somehow we've all come together and you know become a family. <laughs> um, like I said, you can't fake something like that, and uh, that's something we're going to have to build upon, and 
I hope this core stays the same so we can continue to build upon it. And, um, like Kathy said, this was a pretty much brand new team with uh, some returners. And it's a growing process. We're thrilled to have her to bring us along and keep things in perspective. And, um, I think if we can build on that chemistry and continue to grow individually and get better in this off season, we'll be a force. Kathy, you were doing a lot of time uh, in the huddles um, to your teammates. You've done that all season. I'm just wondering, uh, at the end of the game in the locker room, did you stand up and say anything to the girls? Uh, did anybody stand up? Was there a message? And what, what was kind of the mood in the locker room? I think from my 10 years of experience playing professional basketball, um, after a tough loss like that, I think it's better to let everybody have their emotions to themselves. And, uh, you know, not say much, you know, because at the end of the day, all of us are in our own world and thinking how we could have made the game better or how we could have won. So I think me putting my perspective on other people would probably be a downer. So I think it was just, it wasn't my position to say anything. So I just let Pokey come in and say the final words. Was the locker pretty quiet then? Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, if you were a basketball player and you just lost in the first round, would you have anything to say? Probably not. So I think, um, you know, we, we, we handled things differently, and uh, I think it was just best that we all handled it differently. All right. With, the, uh, with you being the MVP, the target is now on your back for the upcoming season. What do you plan on doing individually this offseason to take it uh, to the next level? I think the target's been on my back since my rookie year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't think that's going to change. Uh, you know, it's been that way through college as well. And uh, there's nobody who puts more pressure on me than myself. And I'm going to work extremely hard to get better and continue to improve. And that's my goal every single off season. And uh, I'll sit down and watch film. I'll speak with my coaches, my trainers, and we'll figure out a plan to get me going and get me better. What's the single biggest thing you guys can do individually, collectively as a group to improve on defense? What's got to what's got to happen? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet to kind of talk about all the what ifs and could haves, but um, I guess moving forward, I mean, just figuring players to match the core that we have to make us better individually. Um, you know, it's a process that we have to lead to our coaches and general managers to kind of build build that kind of team for us. Um, but you know, I think I think we're solid. You know, I like I like our core. I think we're tough. Uh, but individually, you know, when you think about defense, it's something uh, that has to do with pride and uh, just wanting to get stops and want to stop the other team. So I, I think it's not about skill level or anything. It's just a matter of the person individually. So, uh, like he said, you know, we're going to get better this off season. Um, and she told me we're going to win a ring together, and I believe that. So um, that's, that's something we can look forward to moving forward. Ask Tamika if this is a rivalry now after playing two years in the playoffs and you two are obviously friends off the court. Is this a rivalry with you in Indiana? Is it going to be kind of extra, extra emphasis on the schedule next year when you play them? Sure seems like it. Uh, just coming against each other every single playoffs, it's really built something. And obviously our proximity and being so close to one another, it builds that type of rivalry. Our fans get to travel to the away game. Their fans come here. So it's a fun atmosphere. Gotta love that. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.